Yo, good morning guys, giggity giggity goo. All right, today, it's fucking early so it's about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, today is my off day from the gym. So, it's my off day from weights. Um, so, you see me outside, I'm walking. I'm just trying to get in 10,000 steps. I'm off days. I try to get as much steps in as possible. I have to go to the gym later to hit, hit stomach. I could do it at home, but I just, I like seeing the gym. So I'm just going in, knock out my ab circuit. I know some of you guys are asking for me to explain the ab circuit. So we're going to more details about that also. And also today is my low carb day also. So you guys get to see what my low carb day is all about. The shit that I eat. And yeah, it's super fucking excited. As y'all see, the scale is going in the right fucking direction. Oh, we making it, baby. We doing it one day at a time. Remember, guys, that's all you got to do. Take it one day at a time. But I'll see you guys at the first meeting. Scoops away. Let's see, 400 grams of watermelon. And also, we got my vitamins, also. Got my, got my fish oils, got my zinc, got my joint support, and I got my multivitamin. I take all that shit. This is about, I only get some of my macros for today is 200 protein, 80 fats, and 125 carbs. So, this whole bag of watermelon is about, it's about a pound. It's about 30 grams of carbs. So yeah, see y'all at the next meal. All right guys, it's lunch time. So for my lunch today, I got three servings of broccoli. I don't know if you can see that. So we got three servings of broccoli some jalapenos, I got some chicken, I got some alfredo sauce, and I got some, um, what the hell is that? I got some guacamole up in there somewhere. It may, hey, hey, don't knock it till you motherfucking try it. The guacamole with the alfredo sauce, I don't know why. The shit tastes fucking awesome. But um, I leave the macros and shit for this meal at the bottom of the, uh, the screen. And I also, I had my diet, Dr. Pepper. I was supposed to eat it with the meal when I got thirsty, but, yeah, I have my diet Dr. Pepper too. And yeah, after this, um, after work, it's gonna be time to hit the gym. Yeah, so one thing I forgot to mention, if you guys are hungry and you're doing low carbs, one trick that I use is I just use more vegetables. So normally I would have a meal that's full of, um, I would have like rice, so I have some noodles or something in on my low carb days. I just replace that with tons of vegetables. You can eat a lot of vegetables and they have very, very little amount of carbs in them. So like I said, in that meal that I'm eating right now, I have three servings of broccoli. Measure out and weigh out three servings of broccoli and tell me how much the fuck it is. It's a lot of fucking broccoli. That's gonna get you fucking full. Try to tip on. Hey folks, I told you that I wanted to add the exercise training, so I came to the gym to do abs. So I do around three, four sets of abs. Um, I'm gonna label them like that somewhere on the screen so i tell you each one but i do it now for each one i do 10 of each one as soon as i get done with one i go straight to that i got four to do all in total so as soon as i finish one i do 10 i go to the next movement do 10 go to the next movement do 10 go to the next one do 10 that's one set and i do all that over i rest for about 60 minutes i mean 60 seconds i do all that shit over again i do that up to three to four times so um yeah i don't get into it
did my four sets and I'm sweating. And I only did four sets. I was in there for maybe 11, 12 minutes. Got my ass. Motherfucking trench. I'm sweating underneath these motherfucking clothes too. But yeah, that's it. Now I'll go home, finish up the last part of my 10,000 steps, and that's it. Yeah, damn. We just got done with the motherfucking walking. So ever since I've been incorporating power walks into my steps and I do my 10,000 steps straight outside. Never knew how to fucking do a power walk until I fucking Googled it one day. All this time I thought there was a such thing as just walking fast and walking. The sun was kind of getting in my face too. So now I know the difference between walking fast and power walking. Power walking feel like you're running without actually doing the running movement. You get a much better workout when you're walking. So I may do it for about half mile spurts or uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes and I'll go back to a regular pace. But yeah, that has truly been a, uh, a go-to thing that I've been going to, I've been doing my walking. So any of y'all out there doing y'all own shit, check it out, try it out and let me know how it work out for y'all. Y'all, this is literally the highlight of my whole fucking day. Can you imagine just sticking your spoon into this and getting a server and a peanut butter out and just sticking it in your mouth? It may just sound sexy as fuck to me, but um, yeah, this is on um, one serving of peanut butter that goes to my macros. So I put the macros down on the screen. So good. I can eat this whole motherfucking job. Now moving on to my last meal of the day. These are all the ingredients that you need to make to me the best shake and bake catfish on earth, in my opinion. So I use a zero calorie olive oil, olive, olive oil cooking spray. Um, I use the garlic salt. You're only gonna need a lot, a, a little of this because this is um, very, this fish fry is very, very salty. Yeah, it's super salty. So you're just gonna need a little garlic salt. And yeah, you just need to go eat the fish. So I'm gonna wash this off, I'm gonna cut it up, and then we'll come right back. All right, so this bag of fish fry that I got right here, it's super fucking easy just to put it inside of a Ziploc bag. I put it inside a Ziploc bag, and I shake my fish up in it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are asking, how the fuck am I supposed to trap the macros? <coughs> Excuse me. How the fuck am I supposed to trap the macros in this? I'm gonna show you. 18 grams of this is one serving. Now I'm gonna make this shit completely easy for you. Check this out. All I'm gonna do is turn the scale on, put the contents of the bag on top of the scale. You see that it has 230, this whole bag weighs 234 grams. I'm gonna reset it to zero. You see when I take the bag off, it still says 234. So that way, now when I put my fish into the bag, shake it up and pull the fish out, it's gonna tell me exactly how many grams I took out of the bag. Simple, right? Let's try it out. So I lightly season my fish, scale still on. I'm gonna drop through my fish inside the bag. You close the bag up and then I'm gonna shake it up. Shit kind of hard to do with one hand, so hold on. All right, so as you see, the whole bag is shaking up. Put the bag back on the scale. Now this time, I'm going to pull the fish out. Now when I pull the fish out, it's going to be in the negative. It's going to tell me exactly how much of the fish fry that I took out of the bag. So as you see, as I pull the fish fry out, the fish out, shake it off, and see how it goes down. I'm placing the fish on the pan that I sprayed with the uh, non-stick cooking oil. So again, all I'm doing is taking it out. Shake that, shake that motherfucker off. Lay it right on the pan. So now that I got all my fish on the pan, let's go back and check out the scale. See, the scale is a negative. So the scale say that I took out 49 grams of fish fry out the bag. So all I do is go on my fitness pal and uh, take out, add in 49 grams of fish fry. So now that I got everything added up, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Now, when I typically put this in the oven, now when I put mine in the oven, it says it's supposed to go in there for about 15, 20 minutes. 
I leave the shit now until it's uh, crunchy golden brown on both sides. So I like the eye. So that normally takes around between, I put the temperature on 425 degrees to let it bake. That normally takes between 20 and 25 minutes before it get the nice um, consistency that I'm trying to look for. And then after that's over, I flip it. And it generally only takes about seven minutes on the other side. And that's it. So when this come out the oven, I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. As you guys see that, we got all our motherfucking steps in today. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Ooh, look at that. That boy leaning out, boy. Look at that. God dang. But yeah, fish came out, motherfucking oven. Look at that. Look at that golden brown goodness. So I got 66 ounces of, um, mm -hmm. I'm lying. Don't let me lie to y'all. I got 66 grams of rice. It may not seem like a lot, but you work with macros that you gotta get what you can. So I'm gonna let y'all hit this crunch on this fish real quick. No, fuck with five. I got a serving of this Newman's uh, Creamy Season. I'm gonna put some of this on my motherfucking food. I'm gonna leave the macros for this, um, this whole meal at the bottom. And I'm leaving the macros, the total macros that I have for the day right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating on my low carb day. Hope this gave y'all some ideas too. See y'all in the next video.